Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. Um, so right now I'm doing a reading on, um, it's a Divine Masculine Karmic Energies reading for this week uh, um, coming up of February 3rd, 2020 to February 7th, 2020. So this basically, this is to... Um, Help us see what's going on in the lives between the Divine Masculine and their karmic situation currently. All right, for through the following week. It is a collective read, so it, it may not resonate with everyone. And if it doesn't, don't panic. It's okay. Just click off and then visit any other um, uh, tarot reader on YouTube. There's plenty of them here and they're all fairly wonderful in their own right. Okay. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, what I'm seeing here is somebody who is smug. So this, it, this is what's going on as far as I can tell on my, in my read here for, um, the, the divine masculine and the karmic Someone is feeling really smug. Look at that face, right? Smug. Thinking that they've got, you know, everything, pretty much. Um, or because they do have everything. I mean, it's, it's, the, it's not everything, but the Nine of Cups, that's abundance right there. They're very abundant. They're very happy. But they're sitting there with that behind them like, ha, 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 ha. Ha ha, look at, see, they're like, they're just smug, 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 smug. This is a new deck, by the way, that I got for Christmas, and I, I'm kind of feeling it out, because it, it's really thin. I don't remember what the name of it was, but, um, it's, it's got things, you know, the meanings of things written on them, not like to the fullest extent fullest extent by the way in any means but um you know I I, I think the photos are kind of cool on them and I thought you know they kind of called out to me for the DM so we're gonna try it they are sort of manly so yeah anyway yeah I, there's somebody here who's smug they've got everything that they want really um, but they're just, they're looking so smug about it and like, hmm, 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 you know, and why is that? Well, because they have somebody here who's making the money and shelling out the dough, basically. Um, per, uh, there's a person here who's giving it their all, putting everything into it, you know, um, it's it's not equal give and take here. It's making it and giving it, okay? And it's, you know, there's secrets, lies, and deception here, but it honestly, this is also intuition. I'm getting the feeling that this person does know what this situation is, okay? Because, you know, she's like right hand right hand woman to the higher flat okay he's the pope in the deck she she sort of works along together with the higher font and she is the keeper of i see her as like you know secrets lies and deception but she's the keeper of the secrets lies and deception like she is intuition so she already knows what the secrets, lies, and deception are. And so when I pair that with this, it's telling me that this person here who is giving and giving and giving and giving, right? Um, That he already knows what's happening here and why this person is smug about it, okay? Um... And the plan is, is to load up, possibly get the children out. So this may have something to do with children. Children may be involved in this, but he wants to load up and put all of these burdens, right, into this boat and sail off into calmer waters, 
um, because, you know, he's tired of feeling beaten down and impoverished and put out in the cold. Okay. He's tired of feeling this way. He's been feeling this way for too long. Look, he's like geriatric. The dude's geriatric now. He's all hunched over. You know, that... <clears throat> It's, it's just, it's a loss of income. It's, it's poverty and being left out in the cold. He wants to go away to calmer waters, okay? But it's almost as if he knows, and he knows intuitively what the heck is going on. You know, like this is a plan. It feels like a plan to me. It really does. It feels like a plan. And then we have, um, yeah, we have the, okay, so then we have the Knight of Cups, okay? The Knight of Cups is fairly immature energy. Um, he's writing in wanting to offer a cup of love, okay? But it is fairly immature, so he's not exactly in a knight all right, I'm sorry. He's not exactly in a in a king energy yet. So his confidence may be fairly low at this point. But I can see how that would happen if somebody was smug about what he's been doing. Like this is this has taken quite some effort. He's reached the six and he's he's making it and giving it. It's what it's what I'm feeling about that. I'm also feeling that he knows. He knows and he knows this person is smug. Tired of being left out in the cold and feeling impoverished from this. He wants to go away into calmer waters, even perhaps take a trip. Um, he wants to come riding in, offering a cup of love. Now he is a knight. Let's hope that this is a cup of love, okay? All right? Because it, it could be a cup of, cup of crap. <laughs> a cup of nothing. A cup of, I'm immature and I changed my mind. But what this is telling me, though, is that it's, this is like a low confidence, low self-esteem kind of thing. Like, this is hard for him to do. Um, but yeah, he does definitely want to start talking about... Um, an idea of, of of a new beginning with something in something stable. He wants to bring stability to this. Okay, he wants something stable, but this is kind of like somebody just sort of making a, a little peep about it. Okay, this definitely is not confident. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm sick, guys. I'll do the best I can. All right, but what, what he really wants inside is this Ten of Pentacles, okay? And that is like the whole shebang. This is, and this is the central focus. This is the central focus between, um, this is a, a read for the divine masculine and the karmic situation, all right? Wants to offer that cup of love to somebody after he goes off to calmer waters after this giving situation and lies, secrets, lies, and deception, and using his, his intuition, knowing about him, okay, because it's been a very difficult, he's had to make a decision, but it's been too difficult for him, he's had his blindfold on, and he's, you know, he's had his blindfold on himself, he can take that blindfold off at any time, he's got to make the decision, he's got to look at this, or stop looking at it in every single direction, and he's got to move on it, but the problem is, is that he's under this devil energy. Now that also says, you know, um, you're keeping yourself, it's like personal enslavement or self-enslavement, okay? You're keeping yourself in a situation that no longer serves you, okay? And you're, you're having a really difficult time breaking free of that. See the chains? They're, they're chained together. But they're so separated. And you would think if they were at the foot of the devil, they would be holding on to each other in fear. But no, they keep separated anyway. But they're chained together at the foot of Satan. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, 
<laughs> there may be an alcohol addiction, drug addiction, sex addiction, just uh, codependency. Uh, that's an addiction. Um, there, there could be an obsession. There could be, uh, <clears throat> you know, it could be anything somebody does too much of or being stuck in a situation that no longer serves you and that you hate and that, you know, it's just a bad situation because you, you know it's already over. So, you know, these are burdens, burdens that you can no longer take. And, and, you know, look above, right? In the beginning, these are your burdens, right? Somebody is always smug because they've been working you, divine masculine, and paying out. Actually, it could be it could be um, the karmic as well, but I'm, that's not what I'm picking up. All right? Wanting to, wanting to go and offer a couple love. Now, here's the thing. I will clarify everything too, but wanting to offer a cup of love, right? And a, and a new beginning, a possible new, very stable beginning, okay? Um, in something very beautiful that's going to be quite abundant and happy. The thing is, is offer it to whom, all right? So here's the thing. He wants to write off into into calmer waters, but I'm not seeing a specific person that he's writing to. I'm just seeing that, you know, if he wants, he wants love from someone. He wants love from someone, man. You know, maybe he's been working a lot. Maybe he's been being used. There's secrets, lies, and deception here, so he's had to deal with that. Or the karmic. I mean, both of them. You know, this is about both of them and their relationship. But it's double energy. Um, decisions have been lingering out there and nobody wants to make them. Procrastinating on that. Not wanting to take the blindfold off. Knowing that it's dead. This, you can't, you cannot take any more burdens. It's done. It's over. Right? Yeah. So we'll clarify this in a minute. Um... And then we have the seven of wands, right? Now, this is um, this is somebody who definitely is feeling some agitation. Um, he's having to see each one of these wands. That's I see always see this card as this is someone else's opinion, or someone else's nasty remark, or someone else's you know giving them their two cents in this in his situation. And he's got this one idea, this one passion here. And he's, you know, he can easily turn and walk away from them. But he doesn't. He stands his ground and he doesn't go anywhere. And he says, no, you know what? I believe in this one passion. And I'm going to stand up for it against all of you. Okay? That's how I always read that card. And at that point then, yes, he would finally turn into the King of Swords. All right. The King of Swords, you know, he, he, it says even right here on the card, it even describes this person, brown eyes and brown hair. <laughs> I, I wouldn't, I don't know if I would go that far, but, um, yeah, cold abrasive. And uh, the thing on here that it, it is true. He does demand respect. He is the King of Swords. Okay. He really, there are no emotions here with this guy, right? And um, he deals in the truth, all right? And he does demand respect. Um, he can be harsh, sure. Um, but here's the thing, you know, he's, he's had enough. He's had enough of right above him having to make this decision and, and feeling like he can't or, does, or is procrastinating on it. Why? Because... They're chained together. I mean, he knows it's over. But they're still hooked together. Okay? Can't take that burden anymore. Okay? He cannot take the burden anymore. Still, all the while, in the middle here, wanting to offer that cup of love. Right? He's tired of being impoverished. And being left out in the cold. 
really, really, really wants to get away and go somewhere calmer than it has been. It's either he has been or, 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 um, he's been dealing with somebody who's been very smug in the situation. Secrets, lies, and deception. Having to, I mean, there, he, he, there may be a situation where there may have something being held o over him. To, the, to make him be a provider. Do you know what I mean? That could be too. And that's definitely... The ener the devil energy is here. And that could be part of it. That's manipulation. Because he, this is what he wants. He wants a reunitement. Now, remember, he needed to make a decision. It could just be ending this. Okay. It could just be ending it. Ending it getting out of this devil energy but it could be a reunitement also from someone from his past because he is making his way he does want to offer his cup to someone all right all right divine clarify the high priestess i want to see what the secrets are about first clarify the high priestess what are the secrets what are these secrets? What are these secrets, Divine? I have been sick for a while. Everybody has. This is too many, but I will take the one that flipped up, which is the world, that this is over. So whoever is sitting here smug, it could be the, uh, the Divine Masculine, maybe smug because they already know that it's over um they could be keeping that a secret because she is the keeper of secrets okay working in their intuition knowing that they have been the provider in the situation okay all right tired of being that way because now all their money um and resources are starting to dwindle what they want to head off into calmer waters. Um, what else do we got? Yeah, calmer waters because there's been lots of arguing, fighting, everything to keep the situation the way it is. All right, where do they want to go? Where's the Knight of Why is the Knight of Cups here, Divine? Why is the Knight of Cups here? Jeez, Alou. That's too many, but I'm going to look at them anyway. Nine of Wands. Okay, the burdens are getting really difficult to bear. His confidence level always seemed, looking at him here, it always seemed to mean like he had a very low confidence level from dealing with the situation. It seems to me like it's been fairly difficult on him, like I can feel it off of the cards. And the smug look here, whether it's him keeping the secret or someone else because of what they, how, what they have put him through, it's difficult energy for me anyway. You know, I just don't want to look at that smugness. So it's all been a burden and it, uh, he's feeling like a wounded warrior at this point, okay, wants to bring in some... Um, some swift and speedy communication. Here we go. Swift and speedy communication, guys. Um, why? Because he is um, feeling very melancholy, thinking of the opportunities that he has missed. Okay? Thinking of a missed opportunity. That's who he wants. The missed opportunity is who he wants to offer that cup of love to. But he's very low confidence. All right. Um, what do we got here? Clarify the Page of Pentacles. Clarify the Page of Pentacles for me, please. So there's been a lot of arguing for them. Fighting, arguments, petty crap hitting each other with little sticks, <laughs> you know. Yeah, um, because he's he's trying to build something. He's, he wants to build on this, and 
He wants, to, he's gotten to the point where now he can um, reward others. Reward others for their work. Or he has been rewarded. But it looks like because there's a page here offering, offering stability, this is a reward. Um, clarify, please. There's still much work left to go, though, at the six, you know? It's a build, pentacles are like a building effect, you know? Okay. All right, yeah, there's been ominous energy. Okay, yeah. So he's coming in as a page here, wanting to offer stability as a page. This is like the first word, the first little peep of an offer of stability, okay? As a page, that's very low confidence and can be a very, very immature offer, okay? Except for the fact here that this is really the intention, that the offer for that um, stability there is really the real deal. He really want, He's th going to be thinking about this but presenting it like this. See what I'm saying? Why is that? Well, he's had time to like pick the situation apart. I'm seeing threes in this card. So um, I'm seeing like the, it could have been a third party situation. But the moon also stands for cancer, by the way. Um, but, it, you know, this is this is information that is just unclear. It's very unclear. Um, there's things that the light has not been shed on. Um, it's it's there's still a lot that is being held a mystery. Okay, um, because basically before there was some thievery here. This is um, in and out to come and thieve and steal and leave again. Okay, take what, you know, take what you can and then leave. Um, so there was a, there was some deception here. And that, you know, and he made things very unclear. He made it that way if he was the one who went in and out and, and stole. This is a theft card. If he treated somebody like that, there would be some ominous energy around it, and um, he created that ominous energy in doing that, and that's why if he wants to come in with an offer, he's coming in really low confidence, okay? Well, all right, well, clarify the devil energy. Why is the devil here? You know, my videos keep cutting me off at 38 minutes, so I have to try to keep it under 38 minutes, guys, because I don't know what the heck is going on. I got a new memory card and everything in it, and... Okay, double energy. I press... Ooh. All right. There may possibly be um, someone who is pregnant in the situation. I'm seeing pregnancy. Here's that Knight of Pentacles moving really slow. Really slowest moving Knight in the deck. He doesn't look real happy. And he has to come riding in um, with an offer of stability, okay? He's not necessarily guarded, but he's not very energetic and, and enthusiastic about it either. And I'm seeing with the Empress here, this is a pregnant woman. Um, it could be an actual person too, but honestly, I'm seeing pregnancy in someone who really doesn't make a move. He doesn't want to, he's very slow moving to make a move on that situation. To offer anything stable for that. It could be that this is, you know, the double energy, though. 
Give me another clarifier for the devil. I'm seeing that he might have gotten someone pregnant. Wow. Yeah, and that would complete his burdens. And if he wanted to leave the situation and ride into calmer waters, he would have to defend his stance on that one in a big way. Yeah, so I'm seeing somebody that is probably that he could have gotten someone pregnant here. Give me another one more clarifier on that. King of Cups and Three of Pentacles, yeah. You know, I mean, you're building here. You're building something. You're working off of two. You made it to three. So you know that things are growing. You know things are growing. You know, the having the Empress here, she does stand for birthing of new ideas as well. But I'm, I'm seeing that um, this is a building thing. You've made it to three, and that's great. But you know there's a lot more work to go, right? Because you want to go higher. Yeah. And he does come in here finally also as the king of cups. Now, this is emotion involved in this. Oh, if he got someone pregnant and has to stay and build, there would be lots of emotion involved. And look at the choppy water under his feet. Okay, well, then his burdens are very great. He does need to stand up for himself, especially if he's planning on going into calmer waters. And if he has gone and um, gotten his karmic pregnant. Yep, that's the energy that I'm seeing. Because really what he wants is a reunitement. Yeah, but he knows that this is over. He knows it's over. And in his mind, he can only think about communicating with somebody that he lost. Sorry. And it's to the point where he can't handle the burden of that anymore. Because that's who he wants to offer his cup of love to. Re like, reluctant, not reluctantly, but not very confidently. But here, it almost appears like someone could be very pregnant. All right. Um, any advice? Let's see, I'm at 28. Uh, watch for patterns, yeah. Okay, watch for patterns. Oh, clarify that for me, please. That's too bad. Yeah. Yeah, someone's wearing a false mask. They're, they're blowing smoke screens to cover up how they feel on the inside. That's what I think part of the secrets are for the high priestess here. And that could be a pattern for them. They may have a very difficult time standing up for really what they truly want. Um... There's lots of, there's a, a few in and out energy here. Um, so that could be another pattern as well. Any more advice? They're broken hearted over this. So because they're doing, they're stuck in some, this is a pattern for them, for the DM. Being stuck in a situation because of traditional ways or traditional old patterns for them. And it's heartbreaking. The fact that they have to put on a face, a fake mask and use a smoke screen to cover up the fact that they're actually missing an opportunity and they know and they want to talk and it's a huge burden. And they want to offer their cup of love, but they can't because they're chained down. Yeah, because they might have gotten somebody pregnant. Oh. Hmm. <laughs>
Well, this is the other guy cookie. So either they're either the other guy could be this divine masculine and just because it says guy that doesn't mean anything this card could be for another girlfriend another boyfriend it doesn't matter the other cookie let's say the other cookie it could be the person that they miss the opportunity with that they're thinking of that because they have to put on the smoke screen or this could be the lies and someone else, maybe perhaps the karmic has another guy. Let's find out both. Just give me some more. I'm betting that the the other cookie. Yeah, this is how the divine masculine feels in his head. This is just all. That's how he feels in his head. Guys, look. You know, I mean, look, he's got decisions that he needs to make. He's got, he, the universe, divine masculine, if you're listening, universe, they're not going to let, they're not going to let you back out of making this decision and doing, you know, something's got to move. One way or another, something's got to move, you know. And you have to heal. Let's see what else is here. Oh. Yeah, you're calling out for attention, man. You're pissed off about something, perhaps. Make, making you feel like you're drowning. Oh, no. All you really want is that healing from that special person. Okay. All right, I see 32 minutes. Okay, guys, we have me for like six more minutes. And here we flip over. Love me. It, it almost, you know, it, it, here's what I'm seeing, guys. He's in two, he's living two separate lives in his head. Okay. One side, he's got a missed opportunity, okay, with someone from his past. Um, that he wants to talk to really bad about it, okay? It's literally driving him nutty and crazy. He cannot handle it anymore, right? On the other side, he's got a smug-ass relationship where there's secrets, lies, and deception, where there's more give than there is take, it looks like. I'm seeing more give than take, sorry. And, and lots of fighting, squabbling, jealousies, competition, whatever. He instinctively, he intuitively knows that this is over, that it's complete. This is completion. This is completion of a karmic cycle, Divine Masculine. Listen, completion, you only have me for like a few more minutes. When you complete a cycle, even though it feels like this to complete it, you have to start a new one, okay? It's time to start a new cycle. It's time to get in that boat and put your burdens in there and go off to calmer waters, okay? Or at least give it a shot. Hopefully, hopefully you can. Hopefully you're not, you know, completely chained down. Where is that card? Didn't I have one that, yeah, completely chained down. Hopefully you're not completely chained down and you weren't manipulated into something, okay? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. This, right here, is pretty much all we have to say. Yep. Anything else divine? One more card. You've got me for, like, three more minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, something's going down in flames. Something is going down in flames. It didn't exactly come out, so... You guys know I love this deck.
Also, this one came out a couple seconds ago. Because somebody is very, very protective now. Someone's so protective now. Yeah, and this is a... Because this is a demented commitment. It, this is a demented, twisted commitment card. <coughs> All right. Well, any word of advice for this situation for anyone watching? Cross watchers, karmic, divine masculine, anybody involved? Any word of advice? You got me for like... Be careful. Be careful. Oh, God. Because you know what? The divine is seeing. The divine is seeing. You may even be seeing that you're chained. What did I just say? You're chained. And see this eyeball? You're being watched. Also, they're watching your every move. Whoever this is for. Karmic, divine masculine, whoever, whoever this resonates with. This isn't going to resonate with everyone, though, guys. Um, I have got to go. I'm running out of time. The clock is ticking. I hope this resonates with you. If it doesn't, sorry, but we can't reach everyone collectively. So, um, once again, this is for the Divine and Karmic situation for the week. And um, I hope it resonates and have a great night. See you on the flip side. Peace.